Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video covering a lot of free stuff today and now we're gonna round out the day looking at a free game available on Steam right now. Typically $14.99 but it is yours to own forever free right now. On top of that we'll take a look at a new Steam game deal that uh, is pretty good. It's of one of the worst PC ports of the year but uh, it has gotten considerably better. We'll talk about that and a couple new uh, Steam game releases. One of them to me totally has uh, caught me off guard and looks really good. Don't know if I'll be buying it right away. I won't be to be perfectly honest, but uh, wishlisted it immediately. Looks quite good. IGN gave it a 9 out of 10. We'll talk about that at the end of this video. But first of all, Cryptarch is available for free on Steam. Cryptarch is a 2D sci-fi shooter where you take on the role of a heavily armored privateer seeking to earn government contracts by boarding deadly alien space hulks. It's up to you to strategize a plan of attack, pick an equipment loadout and destroy the central core to be victorious game came out all the way back in 2017 and it has had a very positive reception 985 steam user reviews and 84 percent of those reviews have been positive again the game is typically $14.99, but available free right now. Uh, it is a 2D roguelike shooter that challenges players with boarding and neutralizing procedurally generated alien starships to earn income for their privateering enterprise, purchase improved equipment and weapons to tackle more dangerous targets, but be cautious as failure will result in a loss of investment and profit. The decaying alien arcs will defend themselves from intruders with a wide arsenal of cyborg monstrosities, robotics, and security systems, all obstacles that must be surpassed pass to achieve victory, the destruction of the ship's central system core. Complex procedurally generated alien space hulks to board and defeat. Challenging, replayable campaign that tests your strategy and tactics. Over 70 weapons and items, including frag cannons, tractor beams, flamethrowers, and nukes. High score leaderboards to rank your skills. And fully lip sync voice acting brings your fellow shipmates to life and blood pumping soundtrack. Perfect for intense firefights. The game has an 80 on Metacritic, so really well received. Verified on Steam Deck as well. And you can add it to your library free of charge right now and once you add it to your library, that's it. It is yours to own forever. So go check that out. Available directly on Steam. And that's on top of the Epic Game Store freebies available today. So a lot of free stuff to check out. Moving on from that, want to give you guys a heads up on a Steam deal that caught my eye. And that is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. It is 35% off for $45.49. Kind of wild that with the $70 MSRP now, a 35% off discount knocks you down to $45 and change. But that's kind of the reality we're going to live in when we get more of these $70 games. And EA titles look to be uh, $70 across the board on these big budget titles. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor is obviously a game I've been very vocal about. Obviously, back in April of this year, it was, and still is, one of the worst PC ports legitimately of all time, especially at launch. Legitimately, this is one of the worst PC ports I have ever experienced. And, uh, you know, that was very depressing because Fallen Order was a great game. And Jedi Survivor, bad PC port aside, is better than Fallen Order in every way, in my opinion. I think this game is exceptionally great. Legitimately, if we could remove the technical issues for this game, this game may very well be my game of the year. I think from a narrative standpoint, it is stellar. I get it that some people liked Fallen Order better, but I think the second half of this game is so good. It's expanded from a map size standpoint. You've got a ton more content where if you go for the full uh, 100%, you're looking at like a legit 35 to 45 hour experience. It's lengthy. Uh, you know, visually, it does look pretty decent. And I think the combat is great. Like I love Jedi Survivor. And typically speaking, when games come out these days, outside of like Resident Evil games, um, I rarely play games uh, uh, twice right away like do a second playthrough right away Jedi Survivor even being a lengthy game I played through this game twice in the span of like two months after release and I played the PC version twice like think about that for a second I just uh, endured the atrocity that was the PC version to play through this game now with all that being said even as much as I like this game you know, the bad PC port is the bad PC port. Like, that is inexcusable. Um, but $45.49, it is getting cheaper and cheaper. I would say probably wait a little bit longer. See if you can eventually get this for under $30. And I think at that point, the port's going to get even better. The PC performance is hopefully going to get better. It does have DLSS now, so that's fantastic. But, uh... Yeah, 45 and change is still a hefty price. But remember that you can play this game with EA Access Premier. Uh, that's the $15 a month subscription service. Hey, 
You can play through this. You can play through um, Immortals of Avam. You can play some of those sports games. It's a decent subscription service that's available on Origin. And at some point, it will get added to Origin regular, so or EA Access regular. So, you know, maybe you can wait for that as well. Nevertheless, I love this game. Uh, it's a shame that the PC performance is as bad as it is. And we literally got the double whammy of, like, Last of Us Part 1 and Jedi Survivor in the span of a month. How insane is that? In the span of a month, we got two of the biggest abominations of all time as far as PC versions go. Uh, but Jedi Survivor and Last of Us Part 1, in fact, uh, considerably better than what they were at launch. So, you know, baby steps, baby steps here. And uh, Jedi Survivor also seeing a substantial discount now. Moving on from that, I do want to give you guys a heads up on two new Steam game releases. First of all, this one totally caught me off guard. I had no idea about it, and that is Leica Aged Through Blood. This is an interesting Metroidvania style game with a great art style, interesting premise, so let's talk about it. First of all, 14 reviews so far. It came out today, 100% positive, 9 out of 10 from IGN. Leica Aged Through Blood is a Western-inspired Motorvania set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. It is a story Story about a tribe oppressed by occupant forces and the personal story of a mother coyote warrior who descends on an endless path of vengeance to take back what her people lost. Apparently the story is very, very good and um, yeah, it looks like it is going to have some challenge. A western inspired motorvania drive, jump and fight your way through the huge drawn world on your trusty motorbike and the art style is really unique. Race through the wasteland and perform dangerous jumps, shoot enemies in slow-mo and reload your gun by performing a backflip. Use skill-based power-ups and persist challenges. Uh, challenge battles against big bosses vehicular combat on a fast and agile motorbike a beautiful hand-painted and post-apocalyptic world a deep story about a mother-daughter relationship vengeance and loss a varied world epic boss battles and loads of missions in the very first motorvania the game is typically $19.99 it's 10% off as a part of a launch discount to $17.99 and uh it is, that discount will be available for 18, uh, until October 26th, excuse me, and, uh, there is a demo available, so if you want to check out a demo, you can do that as well. Added the game to my wish list. there's so much to play right now that I'm not gonna, you know, drop the 18 bucks on it right now, but that game totally caught my eye right away, so thought I would bring it to your guys' attention as well if you don't know about it. Maybe some of you guys were aware about that game's release, but I had no idea that a game that cool was coming out, um, right up my alley, so I'll check it out sometime down the line. And lastly, Endless Dungeon available right now now on Steam as well. I'm talking about this earlier this week, coming from Amplitude and Sega, Endless Dungeon is a roguelike tactical action game set in the award-winning Endless Universe. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes, plunge into a long-abandoned space station, and protect your crystal against never-ending waves of monsters, or die trying, get reloaded, and try again. Mostly positive reception right now, 133 reviews, 78% positive, $29.99 on this one. The critics' reviews have been pretty good, with a lot of good reviews across the board, like 8 to 9s out of 10, so... Check that out as well at 30 bucks. But that'll do it for me. Again, Cryptarch available absolutely free right now on Steam. Go check that out. Jedi Survivor seeing a substantial discount, but maybe wait for that to go even cheaper, given, you know, it's already been, what, six months since the game has come out. Leica Age Through Blood available on Steam. That game looks super cool and definitely a wishlist title if you don't want to pick it up right away. And Endless Dungeon available now on Steam as well. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.